every year we Indians put in about 8 million tons of waste flowers in the Ganges. We had this uh, radical idea of why not uh, make something out of temple waste flowers. And we started uh, collecting these waste flowers and converting them into incense sticks. Hi, I'm Ankit. Along with my co-founder Karan, we started Help is Green. We are a social enterprise based in Kanpur. We collect and repurpose temple waste and flower cycle into natural products like charcoal-free incense, vermi compost, and we are coming up with biodegradable alternate to thermocol. We started this all of this with about 72,000 rupees. That was our own savings and nothing more. We rented a farm which was in the outskirts of Kanpur city, and we started with about 12 kgs of flour per day. Today here we are like sitting in our first facility in Bhoti Kanpur, where we collect about 4.4 uh, to 4.7 tons of waste flour every day from about 39 temples. So each of our incense is made from temple flowers and plant raisins and we do not use any chemical components in it. So we have about 13 flavors in it and uh, so the, it's a healthier uh, organic alternate to a normal incense. And the price point is 165 rupees for the incense sticks uh, and 145 for the incense cones. We've been majorly into exports now. On 1st October, we're launching uh, in India. Then our uh, products uh, would be available all across e-commerce and major retailers. We extract all the nutrients and petals, everything fragrance from the flowers, which is used to make the incense. Now the green portion and the leaves, so all those leftovers we used to make a vermi compost. Now slowly we have gone a step ahead. We have like uh, invested heavily into R&D and we've been able to make flora foam, which is biodegradable alternate to thermocol uh, from waste flowers. We have done uh, the pilot for flora foam with three big uh, household brand names, international brand names. When we order uh, something from Amazon or we buy electronic product, we get thermocol packed, uh, the product packed in thermocol, but we don't keep it, we throw it. So that is the case with 91% of thermocol that is produced on Earth. It is single use and it uh, gets into landfills. This is the world's first biodegradable thermocol made out of waste flowers and it is 27% cheaper than existing thermocol. So in all of this, uh, we employ about 73 women full time. We provide them all the be best facilities that we can in like insurances and other be medical benefits. We even have a bus service for the women to commute from their place to our workplace. It is a, about circular economy, a model wherein we are using a stream of waste, um, religious waste, where which no one has ever done before. For, for, uh, trying to provide employments and generating profits out of it, which is a triple bottom benefit model. And I'm happy to share that next month I'll be representing uh, uh, our business at the United Nations General Assembly. We've been selected at, uh, as one of the leaders for finest talent in social impact space. Uh, and we've been also uh, like invited by Bill and Melinda Gates for their Goalkeepers Awards. It was January 2015, I was actually, uh, so there's a Czech friend uh, named, uh, his name is Jakob, who had visited me in Kanpur. So I took him to the Ganges Ghat, and that day it was Makar Sakranti. We sat there for about an hour and we saw about 150 people come and take a dip in the Ganges and we were like, how dirty the water is still people uh, are like so enthusiastic and they were, they were drinking this water and then we started discussing about the various causes of the pollution of Ganges and he told me why don't you do something about it and I was like dude this is India this is the Ganges and I don't think anyone can do anything about it so uh, he's like uh, and then we saw a lot of people coming in uh, putting in their temple uh, flowers and all the leftovers in the Ganges and then we saw there was a small truck which came in and dumped about like all the flowers and temple waste into it and then we thought he told me okay not about the industrial waste you could do something about the temple waste and my immediate thought uh, like uh, reaction was to call up Karan who's my childhood friend and who's a regular to the temples and it took us about seven months of R&D and we came up with the first product which was Mitti then we moved to incense sticks and now we're moving to thermocol and we've been in the future we're also researching on making bio leathers out of temple flowers. We have already started uh, like securing operations in Mathura, Vrindavan and Varanasi. Varanasi has about 21 tons of waste flour every day and Vrindavan gives us about 12.4 tons every day. So we have a massive job to do. Our plan is to employ about uh, at least 5,000 women by 2022.